Hi! So today we're doing Q&A because I'm feeling more casual than ever. And normally I save these things for the YouTube channel membership, which if you're interested in joining, you can do so down there. There's a little button. But I might be changing that perk on the channel membership and still I just... I just wanted to do something really casual today. So I asked you all on Instagram for questions and quite a few of you delivered. So let's go. How do you feel about deaf characters in books? There's not enough of them. We need more of them, written by actual deaf people. What was your favorite ever collab? Probably the one I did with James where I had to guess all the Pikachus because you know I, I love Pikachu, so that was a fun time. I'll link that over here. Do you ever find that captions go too fast for you to read? I find that when I try to use it. If the captions are too fast for me to read, that's not a me problem, that's a caption file problem because somebody's not timing it right. And I've seen it happen on a few shows that I've been trying to watch on like Netflix and Hulu or news websites would do that but I'm so used to reading captions that I'm such a fast reader that I don't really have a problem with captions going too fast. Normally I'm the one that is too fast for the captions. Was there a culture shock from being someone who was mostly oral to someone who uses ASL? Oh yeah I still remember when I first went to Jewel's house and I just wanted to hide in the kitchen and I kind of did and then I hid in the bathroom for a little bit because I was just stressed out because I knew practically nothing. And then leaving that house and going to deaf events and stuff like that, that was even more stressful and scary, especially when we had game night. And really anytime I'm going to any deaf event or if I'm visiting uh, NCSD, I'm petrified. So yeah, it, it still becomes a culture shock. What's your favorite Pokemon? Pikachu, Eevee. Growl it. Which Sailor Scout do you relate with most? Sailor Mars because I am extremely hot-headed, or can't be, or both. Sailor Jupiter because I will fight anyone who tries to cross anybody that I care about. And Sailor Moon because I'm extremely emotional and sensitive and a crybaby at times, so... How do you communicate with doctors during this pandemic? I've been visiting doctors a whole bunch this summer thanks to, uh, great bundle of health problems and it's writing it's the same as if we weren't going through a pandemic right now i will make them write it down because i'm not risking getting something wrong with my health so if you could only drink pinnacle birthday cake or absolute peach from now on what would you do first of all colin i hate you for asking this question and for context uh when i was doing the last couple of drinking streams on twitch all I had were those two drinks and I absolutely hate them now. I would choose neither and I would run from you very fast. Five all-time favorite movies. Oh god. I never remember what my favorite movies are. There's just, there's two, I, mmm. Okay, Tomorrow When the War Began will actually always be number one. Legally Blonde, Miss Cogeniality, Midnight FM, except I haven't seen that in so long that I wonder if it would still be a favor. Hear Me is really cute. Although, it's a hearing cast. Although, if you know the story, the fact that it's hearing cast makes sense. But the actual deaf character is also hearing in real life, so... Okay. But whatever, it's a cute movie. I enjoy it. I also haven't seen that in forever. Best organizational tips and time management skills. Let me know when you have those, because I don't. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you okay? Uh, as okay as one can be, I guess. How do you make money from YouTube? Is it only based on how many subscribers you have? Your subscriber count means absolutely nothing if you want to make money on YouTube. It's about the views, it's about the ads, it's about the playback CPM. Roberto Blake has a whole YouTube channel dedicated to this stuff, so I will link him down below so you can go learn about that. But yeah, it absolutely means nothing. People think that you make a dollar per subscriber, and if I made that, I would be making bank. But no, I make less, I make about three to five dollars on average per video. It's all about views and ads and CPM. It has absolutely nothing to do with subscribers, ever. Just a simple question, how are you doing? I need a hug. I need a back grab, a cut one, a hug. <laughs> What's one of your favorite things that happened in the past few months? I got out of a terrible relationship that really wasn't a relationship, but I'm so damn happy to be out of it. Are deaf people getting the info they need about COVID-19? Yes and no. I mean, uh, lots of people on Facebook, interpreters and stuff, 
are interpreting press conferences. Local press conferences are having interpreters like on the news on local news channels. The White House is not having any interpreters so that's a whole big issue but I think generally for the most part yeah we're getting information it's just the, 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 the top people of the country aren't giving it which is not good. If you could instantly learn any skill, what would it be? Does instantly being fluent in ASL count? Because that would be great. What was the last book you read? Oh gosh, I don't know. I've been sort of book hopping on my Kindle and I think the last one I actually turned on was a book about minimalism. How old were you when you loved Sailor Moon? Oh God, I was like maybe five or six at the very youngest. Probably. What are your feelings about people telling you to lose weight? I think what I actually want to say would not be appropriate for YouTube and I might get demonetized. So I'll let you imagine that. <laughs> Favorite food? Spicy, creamy, vegan ramen from Junior Robin Bar. And we are finally getting a location in Charlotte. Thank God. That's one can. That's an ATS. I am so stoked. I, I need to go when it opens. I just please give me. Give it to me. I miss it. It's been a year. What do you think about people who only care about body like a good looking body i mean people will think what they will and that's probably not somebody that's obviously going to be in my life because clearly i am not a size two and likely will never be so you do you i guess but i don't think it's gonna work out <laughs> hi mainstream deaf here how can i fight for the rights for deaf education for people like me go to your principals go to your teachers go to the school board go to anybody involved and talk to them about it, even take it to social media, share resources, your own personal experiences. There's a lot of uh, deaf ed conversation, especially on Twitter, and there's an actual hashtag, hashtag deaf ed. So you might be able to ask around there and uh, get some help. What are your future video ideas? You know, I'm someone who says I'm gonna make this and that video and then I don't, whether it's because I don't feel like it's relevant or because I've just changed my mind. <laughs> Which is normal. It happens. But, uh, I still need to make a video about those god-awful sign language gloves and how they don't do anything. Uh, there's another deaf memes reaction video that I want to do. All because of this one that I saw and I just, I just want to say something so badly because I love it. Yeah, other than that, I'm not really sure. My head is honestly not really in the YouTube space right now. Uh, like whenever I just try to do anything related to YouTube, like, I just... I don't know. How would you like deaf culture to be represented in a book movie? Accurately and with deaf people in front of and behind the camera. Why are you so awesome? Lots of coffee and lots of hearing human sacrifices. Okay, I'm guess this one is asking me like what made me want to become a deaf blogger or influencer. I was just out of high school and deaf depressed and lonely. Wow, nothing changed. But, um, you know, mainstream society wasn't hiring me to do anything. And, you know, when I started YouTube, I was first into makeup and I was like, oh, I want to be a makeup artist. And people were doing this stuff on YouTube. So I thought that was going to be a lot easier than trying to go at it the traditional way. So I just did that. And then I got tired of that and realized we needed more accessibility awareness and things like that. So then I just changed uh, what I was doing. What's your opinion when deaf people won't add captioning to their video? This is slightly controversial because a lot of people, especially hearing people, will complain that deaf people don't put captions on their videos. And, and this is why I was so angry and still am that a uh, community contribution is going away next month. It can be difficult for some deaf people to caption because a lot of the information on how to be accessible isn't actually accessible. Also language barriers and energy and things like that. So as much as I want everybody to be as accessible as, as possible, I also understand that there are some barriers with that, which again is why community contribution needs to stay because it was very beneficial to various disabled people. What do you really think of hearing people who refuse to provide closed captioning? I don't think I've been anything but honest about this, but uh, if you actually refuse, there's, there's a difference between not knowing how to do it and then being like, okay, I need to figure this out and just straight up being like, no, and I don't like you. <laughs> You frustrate me, I don't like you. Do you have or have had best friends? Well, 
both. But yeah, I have a couple of uh, best friends. How are you feeling when you became deaf? I mean, okay, so there's no actual number as to when I officially lost any hearing. I could have been born with it or it could have been gradual. So there's no real way to know because it wasn't noticeable until I was 11. And then I really didn't notice. I didn't care because I was a kid and I just wanted to go play outside and play Pokemon and stuff. You know, but then as I got older, it didn't really hit me until high school because everything was inaccessible. People were inaccessible. The systems were. And it was a very frustrating time. And it still is sometimes. But at the same time, I'm also like, cool, I'm used to it. That's it. What are your plans career-wise post-corona if America ever gets over corona? Hopefully I can get my consulting gigs back because those, the one that I lost that I was really looking forward to in particular would have really been a nice paycheck. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, just more public speaking gigs and consulting and things like that. I want my wedding bicolor theme, bridesmaid dresses, and I have a conservative family. Thoughts? It's your wedding. Do whatever you want. Do you need me to fight your family? I will. And that's it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that. And if you're looking forward to any more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you would like to support any of the work that I do, please consider pledging on Patreon or becoming a channel member. Both have different perks and both you know, are just as appreciated. I will have a translation link down below, so until September, you can translate this video if you would like. And now I'm going to have a question of the day for you if you've made it this far, which is what is your favorite food? Be sure to leave that in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you later.